Well, we'll have a new signing here at Gillingham Football Club, and I'm delighted to say the man on board is uh, Christian Magoma. Um, it's the last time I'll call you Christian. Uh, Chris, welcome to the football club. Uh, you just signed your contract. Just give us your uh, first impressions, having sort of secured yeah. your future. Yeah, no, um, extremely buzzing. So happy to be here. Um, obviously, spoke to the gaffer on the phone. Um, I, I know about his passion. Uh, I know a couple of players that, that play here right now or have played here before. I know the size of the club and where the club wants to go in the future. And just being around, seeing, meeting the chairman, meeting the assistant manager, Paul Rayner as well. And all the, you, yourself, and all everyone else that's in the building, just seeing how welcoming you guys are already. I know because, like I said, I've got a couple, uh, I know a couple of players who play here. I know it's going to be, I'm going to be welcomed into the team as well. And Well, I hope so anyway. But I know I got welcomed quite, um, I really well today, so I'm just buzzing. I'm happy, really happy. We were speaking off camera as we walked in. I asked you what was it like playing in Poland for yeah. fans who haven't seen you play. You've been there for two years, I think. Yeah, yeah. Won the a Polish Super Cup. Mm. Um, just talk us through your time in Poland and why you chose to go there in the first place. Yeah. Um, so obviously coming through Tottenham, I hadn't had any first team experience uh, as such. I hadn't made an appearance for any first team um, team. So. For me, it was just to get that experience, go out, play a man's game, um, it, like just see how it is and how I would fare against strikers who are gonna elbow you, kick you. You're gonna have to kick uh, strikers, and people are playing for their lives. Like under twenty threes, isn't quite like that. You're kind of playing because you just wanna. You know, winning doesn't really mean much because it's like you lose, you win, you still go in the next day, you get coached the same way. Do you know what I mean? So th there's a much bigger consequences when you play um, like an actual first team game or in your in your in a first team environment. But I think just to experience that was that was that was like the biggest thing for me. And also going away, just it was the first time I left the country in terms of being away from my family. Um, so I wanted to get out of my comfort zone as well, uh, and yeah, I think I think it uh, it did really well for me in terms of my my uh, physical and mental uh, strength as well. So it's good, definitely recommend it. You've you just touched on the fact you started at uh, at Tottenham Hotspur. What age did you go to Spurs, and what other players were in your sort of age groups going um, through the system? Yeah, so I got there at eight. I signed at eight years old. Um, my older brother was there at the time, Jack McGowan. Yeah. He was 18 when I was there. And uh, four years later, my little brother signed for Tottenham as well. So yeah, we've all been through that system. Um, but when I was, like, there had been a lot of really good players. Obviously, Connor Ogilvy's one. I played with him a few years, or well, a lot of years. Played centre back with him, or he played left back when I'd be left side centre back. So um, we got a good partnership in terms of our like on the field and off the field relationship. And uh, Cam Carter Vickers, who's at who played at Luton on loan last season. Kyle Walker Peters was the right back. So that was our back four. It was Connor, me, Cam Carter Vickers, and Kyle Walker Peters. That's a good back four. <laughs> yeah, so it was. Uh, it was good, and obviously we had Harry Winks and Josh Ronemeyer in midfield as well. Um, so yeah, we had a, we had a good team. We had a good team, and I don't know Lou McGee. I think he's at Peterborough now, right. goalkeeper. He was a goalkeeper for us. So yeah, now we had a talented team, really talented team, and it goes to, like it shows we're all playing football. You know what I mean? So there's not a lot of people that play 18s and go and play and have careers for themselves but we all have managed to do that pretty much so yeah yeah it was a really really good one the 18 team really yeah it was amazing how would you describe yourself as a defender what how would you um sum up your style what's uh yeah what's the christian going away yeah i'd say aggressive um tough I don't. I, I. I'm. I'm not gonna let you get past me easily. I hate that. You know, it's just not happening. Um, I just and I love to talk. I love to try and be a leader. Like talk and um, just try and lead and direct people the right way, or or help teammates and um, just work really, really hard. 
I just want to do that for the team, for my teammates, for the for the manager, um, for the club. I just want to work hard, give my all every single day, every single game, and um, just be just be tough and aggressive. And I and I like to think that I'm good on the ball as well. So obviously coming through Tottenham, you have the education. Um, so yeah, I'm quite good on the ball as well and physical. Yeah, so that's that's kind of how I like to play. Just like just tough. Yeah. And you've got international pedigree as well, because I believe yeah. you played for um, for Congo. Yeah. Um, is one of your aims maybe force your way back in, into that squad, or is your priority focus at the moment just making sure you're playing well for your club? Oh, at the moment it's making sure I'm playing well for my club, 100%. Um, I think at the moment that's, that will take care of itself in terms of the international. Like if you're playing well for your club, you will go back into the uh, international team anyway. So it's it's uh yeah it kind of just it, it 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 does it itself solves itself so for me the main focus always is to just play well for the club and after that see what happens in terms of international and and stuff like that but yeah that's definitely my main focus to do well for Jimmy and of course tomorrow the boys are off for uh, a training camp so it'll yeah. be a chance for you straight away to, yeah. to bed in and get to know the boys. Actually yeah. it's probably a perfect time to oh, join. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a really good that's a, it's really good that I'm going over there to um to meet the boys, to see everyone, meet the gaffer. because um, obviously it's I think it's the first time that they've gone away as a group just somewhere. Um like this or this pre season. So um I think yeah, just Everyone's gonna be there. I can gel much easier. It's just, yeah, it's just a definitely the the perfect time to 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 sign for a team when they're the next day they're going for like team bonding sort of training hardcore um, like session. So yeah, it'll be good. It's really good. And just finally, of course, we start the season for proper next Saturday against Southend um, in the cup. You, you seem really keen just to get going and get out there and start playing. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I just wanna. I mean, yeah, I just wanna play. I just wanna play like football. I love football. Been playing since I was eight, seven, eight. So um, just signing here and being out in the, on the pitch and seeing the stage and just gives me that feel like, like I oh, just like you just love it because you feel the, the the breeze on you and then you start imagining like start imagining playing the games and so yeah next Saturday definitely I've got my eye on that and hopefully I'll do my best in training and um, in, in any games that the gaffer chooses to play me in friendlies but before then and hopefully I get I get uh, picked for that game and and for the uh, games after that as well so yeah buzzing Chris thank you very much indeed thank you thank you